Hey everyone, I just bought Guitar Rig 5 and I'm really happy with it. Um, I, I'm always an amp micer, so the fact that I like this is, is saying something. So what I've done here is I've recorded a guitar riff um, four times. So I armed my first track, recorded it once, armed my second track, recorded it again, armed my third track, recorded it a third time, armed my fourth track, and recorded it one last time. Uh, and then what I did was I went over and I panned my first track all the way left, my second track all the way right, my third track all the way left, and my fourth track all the way right. And I turned down my third and fourth track a little bit uh, to add some little bit of a mix in the guitar tones that I will show later. So let's just take a listen to the four tracks without guitar rig on at all. So let's do that now. So that's just a uh, guitar riff with no effects at all. So now we're going to go over and we are going to add guitar rig to all four of these tracks. And uh, the way you can do that is you can hit shift alt, shift alt, plugin, effect, guitar rig five, and then that will add guitar rig to all of these. Um, if you're on a Mac, I believe the key command for that is shift option instead of shift alt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first um, track. We're going to go to alternative and I really like this preset called Rezo lead. So we're going to add that but I'm going to take off the Rezo chord. Um, we're going to do the same thing on the second track. We're going to go to styles, alternative, scroll down to Rezo lead and take off this Rezo chord. Um, and now on the third and fourth track, we're going to go to Styles, Alternative, go down to, or sorry, Classic Rock, go to 80 Solo, take off the Psych Delay. We're going to do that for both tracks. And uh, these are just two presets that I really like that I think go well together. Um, but you can experiment with any presets that you want. I'm going to take off Psych Delay. So now, before I play this all together, I'm just going to solo this first track, and I'm going to pan it back to zero, just so you can hear what this sounds like on its own. So it sounds okay, but it doesn't sound super large like a lot of guitar recordings should. So now I'm going to play all four of the tracks together so you can hear uh, the sound of the layered guitars. So that sounds nice and big and you got that kind of stereo uh, sound going on with the guitars which sounds good. Uh, so uh, Guitar Rig 5 is awesome. I recommend it to anyone. Um, uh, as for EQ videos, I have another EQ video that I'm going to post shortly, hopefully uh, today, tomorrow, or the day after, very soon. Um, I just wanted to show everyone uh, Guitar Rig 5. It's pretty sweet. Um, check it out for sure. So thanks for watching.